Chrome has dominated the web for 15 years. 3 billion users can be wrong, right? Well, that's about to change. Meet Comet, Perplexity's new AI browser that doesn't just browse the web, it thinks with you. While Chrome shows you web pages, Comet can book reservations, research topics, and handle tasks automatically. And Comet isn't alone. The browser company just launched Dia, and OpenAI is rumored to be releasing their own browser called Aura. Three AI giants are all coming for Chrome at the same time, with Perplexity handling 780 million queries monthly and and growing 20% every month, this isn't just hype. Chrome is about to face its biggest challenge since Internet Explorer. So what makes Comet so special? Let me show you the features that could change everything. But first, if you want to stay updated on the latest tech developments, hit that subscribe button and give this video a like. It really helps the channel grow. Now, this is pretty much the Comet browser. This is how it looks. Its interface, in my opinion, looks very similar to the Ant browser. And here on the first page, you will find ask anything option. And this will use perplexity AI to search for you. And here down below, you will also find widgets like the stocks, you have the time and also some of the assistant options as well. Now down below, below the widgets, you will find the most visited websites. And here at the bottom, you also have edit widgets and you can pretty much add the weather widget, for example, and many others as well. Now I must admit, but this browser is invite only. So what does this actually mean? You will have to be invited with your email to use this browser. Now I find a way on Reddit how you guys can also use this browser without an invite, but for the security reasons, I won't include the link for this option in the video description down below. You will have to go on Reddit and you will have to look it up yourself. This browser is actually Chromium based. If I go here to the settings, you guys will be able to see that comment is made possible by the Chromium open source project. Adblock Rust and other open source software. So it means that underneath it's actually a Chrome browser. However, it uses this really nice skin, which Perplexity actually made for this browser. Now you can use this browser without an account. However, if you do have an account, you will have a lot more options unlocked. Now, if you guys need a brand new wallpaper, I made a brand new wallpaper pack, which you guys can check out in the video description below. Now, one of the options which I really like about this browser is that if you go, for example, to Wikipedia, and here I search for the Microsoft. Let's say that I don't want to read every single text right here, and I want to just get a brief summary of it. And here on the right, you will find this option. And if you click on it, this will summarize this exact website. So it will get its context. And here you can see that we already have a brief summary. And this is what I really like about this browser, that it has this summary option already built in. Now you can also see the sources here. So it actually took this website and it summarized it correctly. And here on the right, you will also find this other option, which is the AI voice option. So you can also pretty much talk to the perplexity comment browser. And it's very similar to the chat GPT AI voice as well. Now here on the right, you have the assistant and uh, what can actually assistant do for you. For example, here on Wikipedia, it will show you some of these suggestions, what it can actually do for you. For example, find more information about this, highlight useful content and draft a post. For example, I can click here on highlight useful content and we can see here that it briefly put in some of the bullet points, really short ones and some of the most important information. I really do like this assistant option here as well. Now on the right here, we will find this other option like the library. So these are the options which you pretty much used here. And if you click on this option, it will open in a new tab on the perplexity.ai website. Now, if you click here on the new tab option, try assistant, you can also see what it can actually do for you, like the highlight emails, upcoming deadlines, find important unanswered emails, summarize my recent email. What is my schedule for Monday, for example? Suggest focus time slots based on my current calendar. And then for the browser specific tasks, like group my tab by topic, close all my distraction tabs and also close all duplicate tabs. So let's try something like this. So I will go here and maybe I will try to just copy this tab as well. And here I have this duplicate tab. So for example, if I go here and I'm going to ask the assistant here, close 
my duplicate tabs. So unfortunately, this didn't work right now, but as you can see, it showed me how I can do this. As I mentioned before, you will have to be logged in with an account. So you guys can pretty much use all of the experiences, all of the features of the Perplexity browser. So it might be just that, that because I'm not signed in with my account that this didn't work at the moment. Now, because this is actually a Chromium browser, you guys can also go here to Google Store extensions and go to this web store, so Chrome Web Store. And here you can also download the extensions for this browser like you would for example, on the Edge browser and the Chrome browser. So for example, you guys can search for the new tab redirect. You guys can go here. And if I close this one, you guys can click here on add to comment and click on add extension. And uh, yeah, it works just fine. This is what I like about this browser because it's Chromium based. It also is super fast and uh, very well optimized here for the Mac OS. Now, one of the use cases of the Perplexity Assistant is that if you go here, you can also ask it to give you a download link. So on this website, I don't know where the actual download link is. So here you can also ask it, find a download link on this website. So just like this, and it hopefully will give me a link so I can download this research. And here we are. So for your specific article, the PMC download link is here. And if I click on this, we are redirected to this website. And we can see here all of contents of this uh, research. And we can also click on this option to download as PDF. So yeah, it also helps you to find a download links on your websites, which I think it's super cool. Now, one cool way of using the assistant inside the Comet browser is to find a coupon codes for your purchases. Now, if I click here on assistant, you guys can click here and uh, I'm gonna ask it find coupon codes for this website. And I'm gonna click on enter and let's just wait for a few seconds. And you can see here that it actually found some of the coupon codes. Let's say, for example, this one, Thompson 10, I hope this one will actually work. So if I go back here, we can go to this, click on apply, and let's see if it actually worked. And as you can see, it did. So yeah, you can also use the Perplexity AI to find coupon codes for you. Now here you can also use this assistant inside Comment Browser to search for new trends. For example, what are trending news right now? And you can see here as of August, so as of August 6th, you can see here some of the world and political news. And uh, you can also see natural disasters and humanitarian news. Yeah, you can also use it to find most relevant and trending news right now. Here inside the assistant here, you will find this screenshot option by clicking this uh, square. Now, I would really like to find which model is this shoe. So here I'm gonna open it in new tab and here I'm gonna just click on screenshot option just like this and it will put it here inside the assistant and I'm gonna ask it here right now, which model is this shoe? And I'm gonna click on enter and let's see what we'll do right now here. And as you can see here, it found the exact model and it also here highlighted it. So New Balance 1906D. Should you use the comment browser? In my personal opinion, you should definitely give it a try. However, there are plenty of the AI browsers coming out right now, like the Opens AI browser, as well as Dia browser, which in my opinion, the UI looks even better than this one. Now, with that said, this is pretty much it for this video about the features of the Comet browser. Please do let me know what you think about the Comet browser in the video description down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and uh, like this video as well for the algorithm. Have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you all around in the next one.